a touching reunion one year in the making between an eight-year-old boy and the stranger who saved his life. 10 News reporter Courtney Lockie shares their emotional story and the one thing that helped them through their journey. Hold on. Watching Charlotte County eight-year-old Zeke Puig run around with his siblings in the backyard, you'd never guess. He spent more than 220 days in the hospital last year. Uh -huh. It's hard like, to be prepared for that to actually be the case. Yeah, I, I didn't actually go there. I thought they would say, you know, it's a cold, you know, <laughs> something like not confirm my fears. In October of 2019, Zeke became very sick. His blood marrow was failing and he needed transfusions every week to stay alive. Doctors from all over the nation spent the next four months working to find a diagnosis. A lot of times things changed not because he was so rare. We heard that word just over and over again. So. Zeke needed a transplant, but there were only two donors that were a match in the U.S. His first transplant failed, but the second one took in July of 2020. We just saw like God sustain again and again. God lead. God be faithful. God give joy. The Puegs spent every day thinking of the strangers who saved their son's life and how they would thank them. One year later, they finally got the chance. We just wanted to be able to hug them mm -hmm. and and say thank you. Though thank though the words thank you don't really do enough uh, to express the gratitude that you know that you feel in your heart as a parent when all this has taken place. Yesterday, Zeke celebrated his eighth birthday at home thanks to answered prayers and two strangers the Puegs call superheroes. He's doing great. In Charlotte County, Courtney Lockie, 10 News working for you. And the family is encouraging others to sign up to be a donor. In fact, they're hoping to get 365 to sign up this year alone. Yeah, it's a two-minute process that can save someone like Zeke's life. We'll tell you how you can do that on our website, WSLS.com.